Now, like I was saying, Searching for Shadows Part, part two. 2. The search, search continues. continues. That's what it'll be called. Electric Boogaloo. No, no Electric Boogaloo. It's done to death, no. It needs to be with Battle Royale. With Battle Royale is the new version of Electric Boogaloo. I was thinking also maybe what would be funnier too is if you uh, make some sort of Yu-Gi-Oh reference like with like uh, instead of saying like Electric Boogaloo you say like uh, Searching for Shadows 2 Thunder King Ryo. <laughs> what? I don't know. Thunder Thinking Thunder King. You would need like something with electric yeah. in it. Which I don't think there is but. No there's stuff with electric in its name. I'm pretty sure, isn't that guy that steals machine monsters named Electric something? Ah, uh, it's been a minute. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like I said, it's been a minute, so... Yeah. One of the other old style of hand traps people forgot about. I mean, it's, I guess it's, you can't do it at instant speed, but... No. You do discard it from your hand. Oh, I figured out why people were running um, that really shitty machine in Which one? Machina, the... The is it like a level 12 vanilla? No, it's the level 3 little guy. Oh, the little guy, just yeah. to save your dude from destruction? No, because you run three copies of Creature Swap. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because if you kill it, you'll get the effect. Yep. Yeah, it's not like... Uh, does it work in magic? I can't remember. No, Gears of Controller, so... Yeah. Well, oh, if it said if it dies, you might get it, I think. I can't remember. Well, magic is weird. Like the Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh are different with... Where cards go in the graveyard and mm -hmm. such, like when effects activate and whatnot. Yeah. Because, like, obviously in Yu-Gi-Oh, if I kill your, like, if I creature swap Sing in with you and kill it, I get it, you know? Yeah, yeah. But I think in Magic, uh, your opponent would get it because that's when it died. Like they controlled it when it died. Yeah. Now, if it said, like, uh, something like, I don't know, if this card is destroyed and in your graveyard? I can't remember exactly how it would need to be worded. It's something along the lines of, yeah. It feels like it needs to be worded slightly different. Yeah, it feels like it needs to be, like... If it was destroyed by battle, you know? Yeah, if, if it is uh, sent to your grave... When it is sent to your graveyard or something Yeah, like that. it would have to be something like that. Bunch of goddamn nerds <laughs> right but no i'm also definitely gonna make this like skill draining auto stack because right. i remember this deck i played this for a bit and this is a sick deck that's right you cannot copy shit off of this website now i remember this <laughs> You cannot highlight shit. No. <laughs> Which was really fucking annoying, because I think I had to, like, screen capture it or something. Yeah, because no one played this card for a long time. Yeah, that's what I was trying to remember. It was expensive and not really in much, and then I think people started doing something similar to this. Like skill drain and something. Mm -hmm. I can't remember why or whatnot. It's probably a more broken deck to play in TCG or something. Yeah, because I was looking at some, uh, like, there was a frog deck I saw from the OCG that I was interested in trying to see uh, how it would work. And then I was like, oh shit. Uh, this well, anything with Ronin Toten is not legal. Yeah, yeah, because I saw that. Ronin Toten. Yeah. yeah. And then I was like, because I went. Oh, sorry to cut you off. Yeah. No, you're good. Because uh, I was like, oh, this was from the 2010 uh, World Championship. And then I was like, wait a second, hold on. Infernities are a part of this. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, fuck. No, I had to go look that up because I remember Tony was like, well, Mass Driver isn't banned. And I was like, shit, you're right. But then I'm like, well, wait, if Mass Driver wasn't banned yet, why is no one playing Frog? OTK, you know, yeah. like, and it's because Ronin Toten wasn't out yet. Because Ronin Toten is what makes that, like, Frog FTK deck possible. Yeah. Because you just bring back Ronin Toten a million times and mass driver your opponent with it. Yep. So. Yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah. Dream is dead. <laughs> yeah, so can't Frog FTK. Anymore, but... No, it was a shame. I was like, oh, damn, that's kind of fun. And then I was like, oh, it's not legal? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> This is bullshit.
Yeah, that's right. I forgot, like, the words on this card, but yeah, I know, I remember, you can just special summon this thing turn one. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah, because if you have no monster cards in your graveyard. I do remember Yados popped up again when Medultras were popular too because it also had yeah, the same text. Yeah, no monsters, yeah. Because it was um, when Medultras didn't have everything yet. It was like when they were in the first introduced. Mm -hmm. I remember that was a thing. Yeah, because you also play D Fissure in this deck. So you won't have any monsters in your graveyard. Yep. That's another way to do it. Yeah, this is a D Fisher macro deck, which sounds fucking sick. Oh yeah. Your opponent, uh, I don't believe can summon Quick Draw Synchron with D Fisher on the board. And they cannot. It, mm -hmm. If it says discard to the graveyard, I don't think they can. But if it says discard, they can. I cannot remember the wording on it. Yeah, Matt, Yu-Gi-Oh is a lot about. Yu-Gi-Oh is very, very specific. I was talking to one of my coworkers. Um, oh, it's by sending one card from your hand to the graveyard. That's the newest text. So that's this card. I don't think it's been routed too many times. So yeah, they won't be able to. So I was talking with uh, them about how um, card games make no sense in Yu-Gi-Oh, mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes in Magic, where certain wordings can really change what a card does and how mm -hmm. it interacts with other things. Um, um, Necro Valley is like that. Yeah. Where Necro Valley has about like eight different fucking erratas, and like, depending on when you're playing with it, you can do weird shit with it yeah. because it'll only affect certain things at that time. Yeah. And yeah, no, it was miserable. I also told them about how Eric is just really hard to deal with when it comes <laughs> to card games. <laughs> That's really funny. Because, like, I was like, he's not very good. And uh, the and she was just like, I'm really glad that that's the case, because he definitely gave me the vibe that he wasn't very good. That's funny. Eric just giving off the scrub vibes, yeah. even to, like, your co-workers. Yeah, this is one of the people who played card games, though. Ah, so. uh, that's right, that's right. So they, they were like, I was like, you know, uh, yeah. I was like, she's, I was like, have you ever heard of tap out control? <laughs> and she's like, uh, maybe, like, can you explain it to me? And I was like, so, you know how control decks always have those things that they do on your opponent's turn? This is counterless this is where you do most of your countering on your turn or your no, thing. You oh, it's not the counter. Uh, sorry, that's my bad. I said the wrong thing. Uh, where you didn't do counters, you, you took care of everything on your turn, basically. Mm -hmm. And they were like, oh, so yeah, that makes sense because you're tapped out. So Eric thought he came up with something new yeah. <laughs> and said it was counterless control. And But we kept telling him, no, that, that's already a thing, my dude. Yeah. This was the other deck I wanted to play. I mentioned this briefly when we were at Tony's. The um the junk blade deck. Mm. So this is the um the um what is this card called? The magical explosion OTK deck. Gotcha. So, I'm not familiar with this one. Uh okay, so you basically just mill your entire deck and almost all of it is spell cards. Oh, is this the magical merchant? But that's No 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 no, that's the other way around. Okay. So you pretty much mill, like, your entire deck. There's, like, a way you can keep looping um, the Light Emperor. You know that guy that draws yeah. cards? Yeah, yeah. You keep, like, looping those on your own cards. So you're, like, drawing and milling, and you use um, that equipment spell. It's, like, Phoenix, Sword, whatever. Oh, that one, yeah, yeah. You know, because you can get it back. And basically you just mill, like, your entire deck. And your entire deck is almost all magic cards. And then you use Magical Explosion off of Junk Collector. So Junk Collector is this card that was only in the special edition of the 5D's Dual Disc, which is why we didn't have it for the longest time. And its effect is like, I think it's like Exile It or something. You basically can use it to activate the effect of a trap in your graveyard. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so you mill like your entire deck... Mill, mill the trap card over, play it, use its effect to just burn them for OTK. Nice. That's it. Yeah, I always want to play it. It's janky as fuck, but you can't, like, you could never play it in TCG. Yeah, it was the reason Magical Explosion was put to one and then, uh, I guess, later banned. I think it's banned now, right? Uh, I don't know what's up, man. Yeah, I don't remember. But it was the reason they hit that card. Because, yeah, you use, like, 
Yeah, you, you just pretty much just milled your entire deck out, and then you summon this card, and then you killed your opponent. <laughs> it's very much like a Magic the Gathering combo. Yeah, I was about to say, I, was like, I feel like I've heard this combo before. Isn't it yeah, like Oops no. All Spells? Yeah, it's pretty similar to like an Oops All Spells gonna kill or something. Yeah. Because you can hit your own cards with um, the Light Monarch guy, you yeah. can draw cards off of it. And shit. It just says, like, you can't attack, I think, or something like that. Something like that, yeah. But, yeah, you pretty much just infinitely just go off, mill your whole deck, and then kill your opponent. <laughs> yeah, what was its exact wording? It won't let me look at the errata. I guess it's because it was only printed way, way later. Yeah. Like, when was this printed in English? Yeah. This wasn't printed until 2018. And this is from the 5D's dual disc. Damn. Yeah. That's kind of fucking nutty. Yeah. That's where it was. So uh, there was no, like, where are you going to put this, you know? I know they sometimes did that in the, and in the again, like, TCG sets where they would put take OCG exclusive cards and put them in. Yeah, Secret Rares, yeah. yeah. But the thing is that like adding this to the game does nothing except add in a shitty OTK combo that the OCG already has to deal with. <laughs> and like, yeah, they could have done it to make a ton of money, like six cents, how they added it in when it had been banned for like ten years in Japan. Yes. I and do. everyone knew it was going to get banned, but you had to play it until it was banned. Yeah. Otherwise, you weren't winning. No. Um, so, you know. You go. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Peak, peak uh, quick Konami. Effect, quick effect. You can banish this card from the field and one normal trap card in your graveyard. Apply the banish traps effect. That's what it is. Peak Konami. Yeah. You still need it to do... Um, the activation requirements have to do it. It specifies this, which I knew at the time. But it it's basically... You need the, um, like, the requirements have to be met, but you don't need the cost. But yeah, so like I said, you would mill, you would just oops all spells in a roundabout way. There might be a slightly better magic example of this since it involves a creature milling, but, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, oops all spells could wait just, yeah. Uh, maybe more like Living End. No, that's more. No, nah, Living End uh, doesn't do that. Um, yeah, Doomsday. Oh, uh, well, not really, because you know, like passes Oracle in your opponent, yeah. which is kind of self fills now, but yeah. very similar. I think in my dredge deck, I'm just going to arrive one copy of Thassa's Oracle. Yeah, and then you just, if you're in the next games, you just completely side into nothing but a Light Sworn deck. Yeah, I remember uh, I saw this one. That's what you did with this. Their, their side deck stuff was insane. Yeah. So genius. The, they were all insane. When the, they were inside. Did you see the Light Sworn deck that had the uh, side deck was a Vayu Turbo deck? I've seen that before, yes. yes. That was very common. Yeah. That was very common. It was just funny, like that's like you just because you're already milling. Yeah, you just board into a completely different deck. Yeah, it's just funny to me. I've always loved that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, they they would have like insane stuff over here. They they were like, especially because these ones were like relatively just local tournaments. Yeah, so the stakes are a lot lower. Whereas like the stuff that's being reported for us is only high level meta play. Yeah, you know, so that's all everyone plays. You know, if they want to get. If they want to be, you know, a serious, I'm a professional Yu-Gi-Oh player with 17 mats and a calculator case. <laughs> so. That guy was a scrub, too, though. That's why it's funny. Bro, if you had a calculator case, you were equal to God. <laughs> like, that's how that was. You were a pro. If you had the, And then the pro tech was to fill your calculator case with expensive cards that you didn't even care that got damaged by your TI-83 calculator. <laughs> That you only had because it was also expensive. You could use a normal calculator. Actually, did a TI-83 fit in those? I can't remember. I, I think they had a specific calculator. But I don't know. The point is, you were wasting your money because you were good at Yu-Gi-Oh. That's true. That was the easiest way to know someone was good at Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> they were flagrantly wasting their money. 
by buying uh, PC whites and then later PC pinks. Damn, the PC whites, yeah, I remember The that. PC whites especially were peak, yeah. I'm good at Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Nothing said you were a good player like having PC whites and having to change them at least three times during the same tournament. It's true. That was, that was peak Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't remember PC whites, <laughs> they never played the peak <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. No, they did not. They did not. I don't oh, even know man. if they still make those sleeves. I don't even know if Player's Choice sleeves are still around. Actually, I haven't yeah. even seen them on a shelf. Well, that's because all the players buy them out and then resell them normally. Yeah. <laughs> that was what they always did. Because yeah. all the good players <laughs> always also sold PC white sleeves. <laughs> that's a part of it. <laughs> that was why none of them were ever in stock at an actual store. Was yeah. because the players would just go in and buy them all and then resell them to each other. <laughs> like, well, it's out. And it's like... Where can I get any? I got you. All of those guys who bought them all out, you know? And, yeah. and then you're just selling inside the store because you're a douchebag. Mm -hmm. You have to go out on the porch at least. Just walk outside, CBC. Then Patty doesn't care. <laughs> as long as you're outside the door. Walk two stores over and Patty doesn't care what you do. It's not his problem. Patty doesn't care. Right. That guy was kind of cool, though. Oh, yeah. He's a chill dude. He was pretty chill. He was pretty cool. Do you know who I'm talking about from CBC? Yeah. No. Okay. I'm pretty sure if I remember. He had, like... Uh, so the guy with glasses? Some white guy? Yeah, I mean... I don't remember... The store? I know... I, I wasn't remembering the glasses. Um, maybe it's because I always remember him having, like, shades on top of his head. That probably is the wrong person. Mm. I think of another person, then. Yeah. This, let's see, this deck is from 2000. Oh, actually, no, this is a 2010 deck. So, yeah, bust deck. Although, yeah, yeah, Heavy Storm is legal, so yeah. Yes, the Triple Shrink, this definitely is it. Triple Shrink is nutty. Mm -hmm. People do not know how sick Triple Shrink is. I remember it, yeah. Dude, get fucking shrunk. Oh, I'll respond with. No, you won't. We're in the 19th sub-step of the 87th damage step, dude. Nothing but shrink can be activated here. <laughs> like, this well, is the last card. <laughs> this is the last card ever to be activated. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> you lose. Once this is activated, the game ends. Actually. Yeah, actually. <laughs> it's true. Mm -hmm. it's an actual little-known fact. Yeah, not mm -hmm. happening. 97 sub-step of the 18th damage step room. It's, it's not happening. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, lordy. Silly thing, the silly thing. All right. But yeah, no, there's, there's some interesting stuff out there, card game-wise. I just know that, like... It's... I'm excited for that One Piece card game. Not to cut you off there. You no, no. Your sentence. Uh, I'm just, I just know that one of the things that I always... Uh, I talked about this last night with one of my coworkers. Was like The only thing I really spend my money on in general has just been food. Uh, the, like, and this is for like um, mm -hmm. my extemporaneous spending. Like, yeah. And when I say food, I mean like going out to eat. And you mean like, nice food. Yeah. Food. Not s uh, substance food. Yeah, bread and water, you know. Yeah. Food. Um... Manga mm -hmm. and children's trading card games, and yeah. they were like, "Well, does, don't the children's trading cards at least bring you some sort of joy?" I'm like, <laughs> they "Bring me money. <laughs> That's what they bring me." Uh, uh, no, this is a lifestyle card. It, it, card card game card games are a lifestyle. Are a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle hobby. Yeah. Like, yeah, I have like some semblance of joy if I win a game every once in a while. Like, yeah. I just want to. I want to get cards that go up in money. That's what I want. Yeah, but like I don't. I don't think mm -hmm. that I'll ever make it like as a professional or even like someone no, who. We're too old now. That then um just not even like being able to be on like the pulse of like oh I know exactly how to you know do all yeah. the, the the finance shit. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just I'm just in the game to play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's about it. 
Like, mm-hmm. I don't have any dreams of grandeur. And um, just I just know that this game is not going to net me any money or net me much, much more than whatever the experiences I get when I play. Mm-hmm. And that's about it. But it's, it's nice to know where all my money goes. <laughs> yeah, right. Aside from the bills, the bills, mm-hmm. yeah, that's, that's that's just upkeep cost. Yes, very much so. The this is uh, me making uh, financial decisions. We'll call them. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't call them mistakes. I will call them decisions. Yeah, I mean, like, all I'm, those Pokemon cards you bought are worth a fuck ton of money now. Yeah. And, and they're not even like that old comparatively. It's not like I wouldn't call those vintage cards. No, they're not at all. There's there. Were, I mean, they are pre-COVID. They're, like, relatively... They're, like, at the beginning of modern era cards, I would yeah. say. Because, like, Sun and Moon is really when, like, the TCG kind of picked up a little better, I think. Like, mm-hmm. it was really fun to play then. And this was before lottery cards. Yeah. So those are the closest thing, you know. They weren't, like, mega hyper lottery, but they're the closest thing to lottery <laughs> cards in those sets. Yeah. I did hear like uh, someone was talking about stuff back then and or about stuff from then and they were like there's an interesting thing where just those era products are hard to get sealed because no one collected sealed stuff back then so everyone just opened stuff. Yeah, that's <laughs> I was right. like yeah cuz it's weird I've noticed that like everyone in Pokemon is just generally like just buy sealed boxes. That's it. Yeah. Which like makes sense. If you're just going to sit on them and do nothing with them, you know? But it's just interesting where, like, that's all they talk about is, like, getting sealed products for your collection. And I'm like, will will anyone ever want, like, singles, you know? Or, like, are singles going to be hard to get at some point from those? Because everyone's like, why would I open the box? Yeah. (laughs) You know? The box is what has value. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the singles have to get very expensive then. Like, if the boxes, like, horrendously outpace the singles. Yeah. Then there would be no reason. And then it would be weird because it's almost like, well, why am I holding this box if nothing in it is worth money? And it's like, because it's sealed and it's worth money. You know? It's like, what? Yeah, no, it could get kind of weird at that point. Yeah, I know. Like, just as it, like it's it's weird because it's like then the sealed box itself is the collector item. Yeah. So then no one wants to open the cards that are in it, you know. Yeah. So then they might go up in money, and then eventually someone would open them. But you know what? I mean? Pretty yeah. Weird stuff. Yeah. No, don't get me wrong. The philosophy on Pokemon versus the philosophy on literally any other card game yeah. is very alien to me. Yeah, because it's insane. Because like, I don't even know. Like people, it's like. Do they want singles that aren't graded? That's the thing. I feel like they're just like all in on graded singles only, mostly. Yeah. I am going to unplug this. Yeah. My cord for this light before it's low. Because, yeah, this doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, it's because it's a game you're not supposed to play. That's, yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. Oh, Ellen was out here turning off the blinds, by the way. Nice. That makes sense. Yes. <laughs> she was like, I'm turning off the blinds. Wait, turning off the blinds? Like, this is like, okay. <laughs> like that. Yeah, she seems pretty tired. Yeah, I know she had like two interviews today. And she did. And she knocked them both out of the park, apparently. Yeah. So. Apparently she'll know within the next couple of days so, uh, for one of them. Yeah, they were supposed to tell her like really soon. That's what she told me, at least. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're looking good. Looking smexy. Mm-hmm. This is definitely a lot more closer than I usually do. Yeah, yeah, really close. I'm very rude and stuff like this. Yeah, it's just it's never been as much of an interest of mine. But No, that makes sense. If you're more into, like, character design, most of a character's design is their outfit. Yeah. And then this is fun just in general as a like a little like, oh I'm gonna try this out, see how I feel about it. Yeah. And it's been fun so far, don't get me wrong. I mm-hmm. like the characters overall color and shape and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um 
Yeah, Pokemon, yeah, it's very alien to me. Yeah, Pokemon is very weird. Like, I'll just be bored, you know, sometimes, and I'll watch some video where someone's talking about, like, best stuff to get in Pokemon, and it's usually just, like, always just sealed stuff. They're like, just keep just keep getting sealed stuff, because, like, it has all these cards people want, and I'm like, do they? <laughs> do, don't they just want the booster box? Like, I was like, are they going to even open these ever, you know? <laughs> I can see that argument. Well, the cards will just keep going up because no one wants to open the booster boxes. You know, I mean that's like a good that. argument. Yeah. That's a good argument, honestly. Yeah, no, I believe it. Because at some point, it's just like, well, the booster box is going to be worth more than the cards. You know? Yeah. No. Like technically, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> like I get it. Like, which is just kind of weird, you know? Because. Yeah. Again, it's yeah. It's very foreign. Because there could be a point technically where it's like. There are, you know, less, uh, you know, first ed Charizards than there are for. I don't think. I don't know if there's any. Actually, I don't believe there's any sealed first ed boxes. I think someone said that once, but well, maybe not anymore. I don't remember, or at least cases. There's no cases of them because that's why Logan Paul got scammed. <laughs> that's why everyone knew he was scammed. Yeah, they were like. Uh, about nine billion percent sure there is uh, none of this, <laughs> so so uh, yeah, get fucked, dude. <laughs> but he has money to waste, so yeah, he could waste all of that money pretending it's a scam just for views. Yeah, clicks, man. You know, and then never do anything to try to get his money back because he knew it was fake. Yeah. You know, as long as he doesn't try to like do anything legally you know like oh, yeah. i don't think it's technically fraud if you're just defrauding your viewers because it's for entertainment purposes yeah that's the same and technically thing. entertainment is supposed to be lied is you're being lied to you know well yeah that's that's the fox news defense yeah exactly so because it's not about the news it's about the entertainment yeah And if you believe anything that is being said it is on you yeah 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 because it's just meant for entertainment <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, that part always makes me feel a little bad, but um, because the accountability of whatever, but it's not, it's not yeah. Important. The what's important right now is, yeah, those are like it's kind of nice though that my spending habits are very, um, you know, focused, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Like, oh, I only spend my money on these three things, uh, that are not, you know, meant for the business, not for uh, yeah. the regular upkeep and things like that. So, and like I said, like the cards, that's something that will more than likely go up in value. You know, that's yeah. more than likely an appreciating as asset. Yeah. And some Even if that's not your intention when buying it. Yeah, definitely not. But yeah, because it, it's just incidental that they could go up. You know? Yeah. It's like, it's, it's like weird. Cause like a lot of people play uh, card games like the stock market, mm -hmm. which is fine. I understand the thrill of that. Mm -hmm. um, it is really fun. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Uh, stock market is is what it is for a reason, you know. Yeah. Um, I do know. Yeah, it's like buying something at five dollars and selling it at like twenty five dollars is a really good feeling. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Like I've done that plenty of times. It's a cool feeling. Yeah. It makes you feel like you, um, you know, got value. Like you, you feel like your life is worth it for two minutes yes and then, then you have to do it again yeah get to the next high exactly which is the only way to live <laughs> searching for the next high searching for the way home hoping, hoping the next, next jump, jump, home. Home. jump home. home oh that's man. the only way to live the only way to live man the only way to live Same with every painting I make. I always yeah, exactly. Hoping next painting will be the uh, what is it? The viral hit, the masterpiece. I'm not yeah. sure what word we would use. Uh, yeah, we can just go with the, the 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 magnum opus. Hoping the next piece will be the one that gets us uh, I don't know, a wheelbarrow of fame and fortune. Yeah, right. I don't know. I don't know. Only one wheelbarrow. That's it. I look. I'm just trying to think. In today's economy. In today's economy. You think just a wheelbarrow of fame and fortune is gonna get you anywhere, bro? Bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. You're gonna be selling that wheelbarrow before you get down the block. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Usually. You won't even make it to the bank with that money before you have to sell the wheelbarrow. <laughs> like that's all I gotta say. 
sure this is going wrong. Oh no, I didn't know what to do in there. Yeah, that was the looking at my reference photo a little bit better. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. You know what's funny is one of these lists is from like 2008 and the other one's from 2010 and they're almost the exact same list. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, other than, oh, here's the big one that's different. Crush card virus. That's a pretty good one. Oh yeah, that'll, uh, that'll be different. Yeah. It's, it's that and like two dark arm dragons I think are about the only difference. Oh, and this reborn. Yeah, because the reborn was one band. Yeah, well, no, this was when it was re banned i guess like before it was re unbanned okay because the 2008 one has the reborn okay yeah reborn is one of those reborn comes and goes yeah reborn comes and goes but uh, but... being broken is eternal yes (laughs) was it like eroded no it's never been eroded no it's 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 not one of the the eroded ones yeah it's just weird that yeah no one plays it because it's kind of not that needed i mean it's It's... what it's a one for one one for one is ass in Yu-Gi-Oh now. I mean, no, one for one, the card is really good, though. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, the concept. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. The, the, the concept of one for one. It's interesting how that game shifts so much that the fundamentals of the game are crazy different. Yeah, it's interesting, too. Versus, like, Magic, where, the, where just, you know, it's still pretty close to the fundamentals of stuff. Like, two for one is good you know this kind of thing yeah like i would say that two for one is still generally pretty good in magic yeah versus like two for one is probably not that good it's also weird too so so someone was talking i was looking at the article about that medulce deck that won Mm -hmm. and they described medulce as a mid-range deck and i'm like (laughs) what yeah exactly Yu-Gi-Oh has those concepts um a, a this person probably also plays magic. Yeah, probably. And the way they described it was is because of the fact that it has combos in it, but it's not entirely focused on the combo, is why he described it as a mid range deck. And I still think that's wrong. That's. I mean, that maybe that's the Yu Gi Oh use of that word. But you I, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I still like think how it's wrong. different communities can use words differently. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it was just like one of those things where you hear it and you're like. Hmm. I think they are using this word because it's the only thing they can know how to describe this particular concept in a game that doesn't really have this concept. Because, like, I understand what you mean. Because it's, it's like how you say, like, a Monarchs is a control deck or something. Yeah, and it's... And it's, like, kind of not, but it is in the terms of that game. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's it's weird. Pokemon, Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh!, Magic, and... Vanguard, they all like, yeah, they all try to use the same word, and they just can't because they're just very different games. But making up a new word doesn't make sense when you can just repurpose an old word. Yeah. That's how language works. Because like, if you talk to Eric, Eric would have told you that when he played Vanguard, he was a control player because he was playing Kagero. Yeah. And while Kagero did have controlling aspects of it, where it was like you know, oh, it does kill it, your back row, kill your units, your and things yeah. like that, and gets advantage from doing so. It's not like negating stuff in yeah. that style of control. Yeah. It's, it's board control. Yeah. But it's not like... But I wouldn't call a mid-range black deck with some removal. Yeah, know, a, a control, control deck. deck. Yeah, exactly. Because that's what that is. It's more yeah. It's more that than it is yeah. actually a control deck. Yeah, I think they're just kind of repurposing these words to use in the... Which makes context. yeah, which makes sense, especially when you're. Yeah, like I said, that's how language works. Yeah, again, I, that's why I'm like, I'm not uh, annoyed by it. I am sometimes a little thrown off by it. Is what yeah. is what the word I would use for that? Is where it's like, that's interesting that you would use this word in this yeah, situation. But sure, because like monarch in magic terms would be more like a mid range tempo deck or something. Yeah, definitely tempo. It would yeah. be in that description. Exactly. But yeah, it's just bizarre. I don't know. Yeah. But I mean, they're not going to make up some weird new word to try to use. They're not just going to call like, oh, Medolce is a schmoopy deck or something. <laughs> you know? They're not yeah. going to make... They're, unless they're in, completely insane. Then they might just try to make up a word and claim that they invented it or something. You know? Yeah, because like... Oh, I was the first person to uh, invent call a word to describe that concept. You know? The schmoopy. Yeah. You know, it had never been thought of at all you know yeah 
Because, like, again, I would probably, yeah. If, if, if I was to call Medolce anything, I would probably compare it more to a combo, like, or a tempo deck at best. Yeah, I don't really know what the deck list looks like because well, it could just be like a Splinter Twin style deck. Well, what that it does a control combo deck? Yeah, because like what it does well, is combo control. What it because the the, the, the way they probably describe it for mid range is because of Tiramisu. Uh, yeah, it's probably that and the fact that it lasts that it goes longer than one turn. Yeah, because it's also supposed to be like the concept of mid range is a mid game, but yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, depending on your format, probably doesn't have much of a mid-game, you know? Like, well, it's weird. because the mid-game could also be, like, you know, turn three. <laughs> so. it's, I would call I would say Medolce is mid-range in the sense of a mid-range deck that exists in Legacy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's usually also dependent on, like, how long you're looking to take the game or whatever. Because I was watching some replays uh, because someone told me, oh, because yeah, I saw that list that topped, and I was like, let me go watch it on Yugi Tube. Mm-hmm. And it was like, okay, these games end around turn seven. Oh, that's really long for a Yu-Gi-Oh game. Exactly. Holy shit. Uh, these games were ending at turn seven, and I was like, okay, this is actually a long game, sure. Um, but, like, it was like, yeah, between five and seven would be when the turns end, games end. But, yeah. but it'd be, like, really interesting because the, the, the person at the front uh, would be, like, you know, going off, going off, going off, and they would just be like, all right, you've spewed your whole hand, and now I've got literally everything to n- to get rid yeah. of your stuff. Um, because, like, they don't really... They can play through a lot of the negates that, like, people will set up on the board for their prison aspect. Standard kind of stuff. Yeah, and you're just like watching it and you're like so i guess that's why they called it this Mm -hmm. because of the fact that it's like all right after your opponent has you know blown their load yeah you're just like all right you blew your load now i'm gonna go in Mm -hmm. sort of thing it's like um it it was one of the few decks that they described as a wait and see (laughs) yeah style of play Mm -hmm. uh, that makes more sense that makes more sense calling it something like that yeah (laughs) instead of like mid-range but i mean you have to like Oh, there's Yu-Gi-Oh terms that are taken from Magic anyway, like Mill. Yeah. Mill is taken from Magic. Yeah. And Mill is taken from the card Millstone. Yes. So, so. which now Mill is a keyword. Really? Actually, yeah, they made it a keyword uh, a couple sets ago. That's right, they did. They did. Yeah. I think it's like Core 21, maybe, or something. Something along those lines, yeah. Somewhere in there. They, they made it a keyword, because people just used it anyway, yeah. and then saves them on ink. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. instead of yeah, send top card mill. Yeah, yeah. I take away like four words, turn it into one word. You're gonna save money. Yeah, like I, there's some interesting also mechanics in Yu-Gi-Oh that I think would port well and uh, that kind of happened in Magic already. Mm-hmm. Like I like the excavate mechanic when they put it into Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, that's just scry. Yeah, it is just scry. But the way it works is it's like they usually um, it goes past you know you know scry is usually scry two scry one. Yeah, you can yeah, like yeah. excavate seven. But I think isn't shit. is excavate? Do you have to reveal them or no? You reveal all of them. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. You say that's more like those cards that are just because there is that there's scry and then there's just reveal cards from the top of your deck, whatever, whatever. That doesn't yeah. have a name. That's an action. Yeah. Of like revealing wax cards until you whatever, whatever, whatever. That's that's like, uh, you know, Cascade does that. Or other yeah. cards do that. They don't have a name for it. How's it going, Ash? We're just talking about boring card game stuff. Because also there's going to be a One Piece card game soon. Oh, yeah. And even if it sucks, we're definitely buying some of it. Yeah, just to, like, fuck around. Because we're just One Piece fans. Yeah, so. and it's going to be fun to fuck around with yeah, it. Yeah, we're like, just going to fuck around with it. Like, there's no way in hell it's not just going to be fun to, like, just be, like meme yeah, me. Yeah, to just, yeah, just do stupid shit with it. Like, I'm going to talk about how everyone's, like, fighting everyone. It's yeah. like, all right, I imagine this is how it goes down. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be funny. I'm going to have the Ripper on good time. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like fun. When is it supposed to come out in America anyway? It just says late 2022. Ooh. It's not even out in Japan yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it comes out in around July over there or something. Like, like they're just showing how to play the game. They yeah, just, yeah. Like last week they just showed like the quick guide for the rules or something. And they're shown off a couple cards on Twitter. And about half of them don't have the effects posted on them. Because they just, you know... Are keeping everything a secret. Yeah, that makes sense. I finished pers- dinner and you're chilling at the moment. Nice. Sounds good. Sounds good. Very nice. Very nice. Chilling's always good. 
I'm personally excited uh, to play uh, Yamato Beatdown. Oh, right? Dude. Yeah, we haven't seen her yet. So, I'm trying to think of the characters that I saw in uh, pictures. That reminds me. Are they just using screenshots? Or are they uh, actually hiring artists? I think it's kind of a mix. Because uh, I'm pretty sure some of these are new art that I've seen. There's like... there. It's basically like manga shots anime shots new art like i think it's a mixture okay so so i would definitely i would prefer them to have like you know not actual screen caps or manga panels yeah i think the manga ones are colorized though oh that's kind of cool though. i'm pretty sure roger burn fdk dude roger burn yeah right i love when we were just making up shitty deck names. yeah <laughs> that was so and just like imagining the, like, yeah. the game how horrible it was like oh, just yeah. crazy shit fucking mike was like everyone's sleeping on sonata tokens yeah, yeah. <laughs> right oh fucking shit kills me maybe all these toxic don quixote players oh, yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah mm. but, <sighs> Just try to get my brother to play, see what happens. Oh, yeah, definitely. He's probably going to hate it. <laughs> oh, easily. He will definitely hate it. There are yeah, there's going to be uh, four starter decks and then a booster set. Gotcha. Is what's known so far. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, those structure decks are going to be rough. Because um, obviously they're going to probably be like, one's a Luffy set, one's a... It's, uh, one is, um, so one, this is what they're set, and this is the cover card. So there's a Straw Hat one okay. that has Luffy on the cover. We don't know if they have, like, a second, because you have, like, what's called, like, a leader. Yeah, yeah. Which is kind of like your... Commander, yeah. Commander or something like that, so... The Straw Hat one has Luffy on the cover. Deck Master. There's one for the Worst Generation okay. that has uh, Eustace Kid nice. on the cover. There is... Um, who's on the other one? I know there's one with Kaido. That's like Kaido and his crew, but I forgot who the other one is. I think like Crocodile might be on the cover of it. Bro, how much? And it's you... like a, it's the Shichi Bukai one maybe or something. I don't remember. I'm going to actually look that one up. Bro, how much you want to bet there's spoilers in that? That's why we have to wait till July. <laughs> oh my god, no, no way. Like, like uh, for the Straw Hat deck, suck the fucking final Straw Hat is in the deck. <laughs> it says Yamato Straw Hat. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That'd yeah. be funny. That'd be fucking funny as shit. Because, like, that would be like, oh man. It was Crocodile. Okay, it is for the Shichibukai. Okay, so that's the last one. Because there was a rumor going around mm -hmm. that um, uh, Yamato was, uh, VA had said she was confirmed to be in the Red movie. Oh, cool, cool. There, there was a rumor, yeah, that, she, that the VA had she said that. She accidentally let that slip. Yeah, because, like, the guy with the who accidentally let the Spy Family anime slip. Yeah. So, no, that was the v, that was the, the voice actress yeah, yeah. for your, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was the voice actress for I'm your? Sure I, thought it was, it was uh, I thought it was Lloyd's. No, nah, I think, I thought it was your. I don't remember that. Either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the one of the VAs let it slip by accident. I do remember that. Oh, we gotta get this. There's gonna be like a huge Spy Family tribute, like mega guidebook super thing. Oh, that's nice. It's gonna come out. And it has like. Like a bunch of fan art. Yeah, I think I've seen that. Yes. It was it's like, gonna be all like these manga creators did art for it. It's got yeah. like, interviews. It's got all the color illustrations for Spy, for spy Family. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, I just saw an article about it earlier today. And, like. I haven't seen the book. Because I, I saw it, and I thought it was... I didn't know if... I thought it was, like, um, just a fan thing. Mm -hmm. But it looked... I was like, this looks so official. Why is it saying it's fan book? And then I was like... Then it... Yeah, like, I don't know when it comes out. Or is it already out? I don't think it's out yet. No, I, I've heard people talk about, like, who, okay, okay. who did illustrations and stuff for it. Got you. Um, but, like, the thing that was weird about it was... Um, what was it? Um... Was that the way it was advertised? It was like it made it seem like it was a fan thing, and not something that was official, like licensed. Oh no, it's a, it's gonna be an official thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I found out about that the other day, I was like, "Holy shit! Wait, real people are working on this?" Yeah, it has interviews and stuff, but it'll be all in Japanese. I mean, that's fine. But so I don't know exactly what it's saying. But should sure be a translation online somewhere. Yeah, maybe. definitely. Which would be pretty cool. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that art book's going to be really cool. We're going to have to get that. Yeah, uh, we saw the art book for the Wotakoi at uh, oh, uh, Kuno Kuno nice. the other day. And I was like, fuck, we got to get this. 
Yeah, that sounds sweet. Because, yeah, that one looks, what is it going to look great? Because the uh, last volume has been announced uh, for uh, English release, and I believe oh, it's... Oh, really? Yeah, it's volume six, and it's going to come out, I think, in August. Oh, nice. And it's been like... Forever, get, yeah. Not even just that. It has been given multiple covers. Really? So, depending on what store you buy it from... Uh, that's kind of annoying. You'll get a different cover. That's kind of annoying. But it, it just means you have to buy all the copies. How many are there? Uh, Four. Four? Well, that's not too bad for variants. I, I believe it. I mean, I want to collect all the working designs games, and yeah. I think um, Alundra One has eight different versions. Holy fuck! So actually, yeah, I have to become mega rich. Like, we'll have to be doing like 10k every con yeah, right. for me to even think about this stuff. But I think video retro video gaming is kind of like going on the back burner. I'm not sure how that collectible market is right now. I hope uh, a lot of them were going down. I hope some of them go down again. Yeah, there's a lot of Because I actually just want to own them independent of like them being worth a ton of money. Yeah. That doesn't matter to me. No, I feel you on that. Turn I want to get rid of this copy of Mega Man that I have that is allegedly worth like a grand. I just have nowhere to get rid of it. I'm not going to sell that online and get fucking scammed. Mm -mm. <laughs> like, no way. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, not gonna happen. I want to sell that, and I want to buy like a guy's cradle with it or something. Fucking stupid. Let me zoom this out a little bit. Buy like a fucking candelabra and rub it in John's face, because he always wanted to play a deck with candelabra. Oh. Hold on, this is actually a Reddit post. Fuck the <laughs> fuck, fuck the Kino post. Um, let me see here. Uh... I was like, I can just Google it. You don't have to stop drawing. It's on Reddit somewhere, so... That's fine, I'll find it. Alright, alright. I must know. <laughs> yeah, I'll just find it. Okay, this Kino one has them with, like, when they're kids. It's like pre-ordering. Oh, if you pre-order, you get something. That's kind of cool. You get like some piece of artwork. Oh, nice. That's pretty neat. So that might be worth doing. Um, all the variant covers for which book final volume. Okay. And there's a, someone just randomly has a picture of someone's Sui Code in manga, which I know is worth a fuckload of money, which is just funny. Oh yeah, these look really cool. Where are they all from, though? That's what's actually that's what actually matters. So one of them is from Barnes and Noble. One's from the Kino one. That doesn't like I can see them, but I don't know where they're from. Yeah, it doesn't say like where they're from either. That's not okay. Well, one says Barnes and Noble exclusive because it has a sticker on it. Mm -hmm. Books a million, whatever that is. What the fuck is Books a million? It's probably just a website. I'm I don't know that store. Yeah. And I don't know this other one. Like it's not listed anywhere. I would probably say the Barnes and Noble one is like the best one. This it has them in the fancy like suit oh, outfits yeah. from the ending song. Yeah. Yeah. Like. I think that was the ending song, right? Yeah, it was the yeah. ending, yeah. Yeah, it has them in those outfits. So that's definitely, like, the best one. Um, as long as this fucking shitty exclusive thing is, like, on the plastic or something and not stuck to the fucking book. Yeah. Because peeling that off will be fucking annoying. Yeah. I hate having to do that from that place. Because it, like, is partially covering up the title here. Mm-hmm. I hate doing that. But yeah, if you pre-order the one from Kino, it says that you get some art or something with it. I mean, that's pretty good. So that's a pretty good one, too. So That is weird, though, because usually they never do variant covers for manga, yeah, except the, ones, the only ones I know are from, like, some sort of Loot Crate-type service. Um, I don't remember which, like, anime loot crate it was or whatever, 
but they would have variant covers because you can get a variant cover of Black Clover. Really? Yeah. Huh. Um, I'll show you. But there's a couple other ones, but I don't remember all of them. <clears throat> they were like, like I said, they were from some anime loot crate service. Interesting. Yeah, because it's not really an American thing to do for manga. Not for manga. Oh, My Hero has one apparently, I think. I'm not sure. Either that or this is just in the same page. Yeah, variant cover. Yeah, it's this cover. Uh, let me just, I'll make it like big so you can see it. Oh, damn, what volume is that? Yeah, this, it's volume one. It's oh, just a variant nice. cover. Huh. Yeah. I don't know, like, I don't know where the art specifically is from or anything, if it's commissioned specifically for this or something, but uh, it's the variant cover. Interesting. Yeah, My Hero has one, too. Is this a volume one? Where is this from? I can't get it to work. The whole thing, but it does look pretty cool, though. It's like this. So like, oh, that is pretty cool, actually. It's some definitely newer art. So yeah, it was different art. Yeah, uh, like I said, I, I don't know when. Like, like I said, I just remember that these are from some Loot Crate service. Mm. Might be actual Loot Crate or whatever. You know, I don't remember. I think a lot of those things went under because they. <laughs> People realized they were a fucking scam. Yeah. <laughs> so, which they were, I mean, they were a good idea, you know? Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can find, like... People love to gamble. <laughs> uh, um, maybe, like, manga... Variant covers... Oh, it said it said where this was from. This is from Loot Crate. Does that let me know? Someone wants forty five bucks for this on uh, eBay. Damn. It's my hero volume. Uh, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Get your bag, kid. Just as a variant. Fuck! I lost the tab where it had what it was actually from. Go back. Loot crate. Okay, so actual loot crate. Okay. Loot crate variant manga covers. Oh, someone has like a pretty big thing of them. Then like a selection of money bay. Oh, there's a One Punch Man one, Steins Gate one, the K on one. That's oh, cool. K on, that's pretty sick. Blockano has one. All right. Let's see. Is that like sword art? Oh, there's a sword. One of the sword arts. Does anyone just have like a list of these? My Hero Volume 1 apparently has another variant cover. Hmm. This, like, white one. Interesting. Well, that's kind of cool looking. Yeah, that actually, I actually like that one a lot. That's pretty neat. I don't know how you get that. This is your Hero Academia. Oh, she's right. The title. Oh, I've never seen this One Punch Man one. Look at this one. With, like, his head coming up <laughs> over the earth. That's this funny. one's cool with, like, Godzilla in it. Parasite. Oh, there's a Naruto one? This is for volume 72? I think that's the last one, right? Yeah. This is kind of whatever. No, I, I much prefer that yeah, actual last other one. Yeah, one way better. Yeah. This just looks like it's taken from a game almost. Yeah, right. <laughs> that looks like one of the games. I, I legit actually Oh, like there's that. a Soul Eater one where this has like silver text. Oh, that's pretty sick. I've never seen that. That's really cool looking. Yeah, I like that they didn't change the art either on that one actually. Because that one, I, I actually really like that cover. Yeah, that's a Loot Crate one. Okay. Ancient Magus Bride has one. Nice. Oh, Noragami has one? Okay, that's pretty cool. 
Noragami is randomly still going. Is it? I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You're lying. April has one. No, I'm lying right now. <laughs> You're lying. Yeah. Well, no, it's not April anymore. We can't lie. Yeah. So. I just noticed there were descriptions. So where is this My Hero one from? Oh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. That's right, because he that's, was there. Yeah, he was actually there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so that's why it's white like this. So you can get it signed and it'll it'll be better. Yeah. Because you can just sign in the white part. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I totally forgot about that. But I, I still don't have like a full list of all of these. I think that would be an interesting thing. Random things I still want to collect though that are like variants are these Viz bags from Comic-Con. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I want all the ones that have a Rumiko Takahashi series on them. I only have one of them. They used to be worth, like, about, like, five or five to 15, I think, each. I forgot. Uh, the, the one I have here, I actually bought off someone in person. They were using it. Yes. <laughs> I just bought it off of them. It reminds me of that. Because uh... they were like, I was like, how much more for this bag? And they were like, Some, I forgot what they said. And I was like, bro, it's like 15 right now on eBay. And they're like, all right. <laughs> they didn't have almost anything in it so they just took out what they had it's the one that has uh, Rene on it I think because this is when Rene was like brand new you were saying? oh it just reminds me of the the uh, the, the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh bag I had the 5D's one yeah I didn't I didn't know that was a like deal you were doing that's my bad no that's fine I just, that's just the only thing I could think of like when that came up I was like oh that reminds me of the bag that's the no, only no, story of the bag that I remember no it's the Parker's pants story you're that's right that's the real story <laughs> that is the real story <laughs> what was it uh, Parker sold his pants yeah for fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards I can't remember if there was cards or cash cards and cash cards and whatever I just remember he straight up sold his pants right there at CBC and for some reason, he had a second pair of pants on him. He was probably going to spend the night somewhere. Probably. But always carry a second pair of pants in case someone wants to buy them off of you. It's true. That's just smart. That's good investment. Mm -hmm. Oh, back to the One Piece card game, though. I do like how the first set is called Romance Dawn. Oh, Got to. Gotta. O obligated. You are obligated. obligated. Straight up. But yeah, no. But I like the quote-unquote mana kind of situation from what I understand. It seems yeah. pretty interesting. It's like a bit of a force of will, but like... It's kind of everything. It's a lot of stuff like... I don't know how the Digimon mana actually works. It, so... But I like that it's, you know, it's in a separate deck. You, like, get... I think it's, like, two of them a turn. Unless you're the first turn player, then you get one. And, like, you can... So you can tap them... But you can also attach untap ones to your units. Hmm. Um, and then you can send them back to the deck also, I think. It's about the few things you can do with them. Interesting. Yeah, so there's some effects that are like, um, you know, you can attach. I think the Luffy lets you, like, attach... A tapped one or something? I can't remember. There's some of them that do that. That was pretty cool. So that means you can like spend it and attach it, which is pretty neat. I did see Kaido had one that was like send seven back and you just straight up like nuke one of your opponent's prize cards. Nice. So that could be like an end game thing. Kaido does unfair things. Makes sense. This is the mega Kaido beam. <laughs> beam. You know. Because it's the beam, you know, he turns into the dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, it's just funny they say beam. Yeah, the giant beam, you know. It's like something breath, right? Yeah. Yeah. One of them is the card when he's drunk and shoots the beam at the castle. Nice. I saw that. No, I'm, I'm interested. It seems, it's like one of the few new card games that's actually just... I mean, anime card games. It yeah. just seems kind of fun. Yeah. Because it's, it's a property we like. Yeah, that too. So that's like... I wouldn't expect it to go anywhere, but... No, yeah. It would be fun to play at home or whatever. Yeah. Just, 
as a like one of fun of thing. Yeah. Just make our own cube for it. Oh, dude. That'd be interesting though, because I wonder how that would work. Because you you would have to do something with leaders yeah. in there and cards. You might have to like. I mean, you can mix them in. People do commander cubes. Yeah. Where, like, you just put a lot of uh, good cards and good commanders in, you mm -hmm. know? So you can, like, take some cards early and then find a commander that goes with them or take a commander early and just build around them or yeah, build your entire deck and then grab a commander at the end, you know? Yeah. Because <laughs> you're just like, all right, I just need these colors because I have every busted card, you know? Pretty much, yeah. I know Jamie's not here for a reason. Oh, really? Because I'm drawing fish. <laughs> That's true. That makes sense. She's, like, terrified of fish. Yeah. She has fish phobia. I don't know what that's actually called. What is that actually called? It's probably Pisca something. Yeah. Fear of fish. I wouldn't call it a phobia, though, but she just doesn't like them. Gotcha. She thinks they're gross. Uh, it's... Ich uh, ichthyophobia. Oh, makes sense. yeah, that's an, yeah, that's, that's the other fish one. Yeah, that's the other Latin fish thing. Yeah. I guess Pisces is technically Greek. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, ichthyophobia. Because, yeah, ichthyology is the study of fish, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. Actually, it's the religion of fish. You're right! That was my bad. Because <laughs> it says theology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course, the Pope himself, Long John Silver. <laughs> it's either that or it's Captain D. Could be Blackbeard. Well, no, I meant because those are fish restaurants. Oh. Well. <laughs> or you could do Moby Dick. Uh, yeah. Captain Ahab. Yeah. Well, I was using those because they were fish restaurants. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just like, I just like so that. that's where you go to worship. You go to the Long John Silver. That's true. And you eat the fish to gain their strength, obviously. Mm-hmm. Except for the mega hyper fish god, which you then sacrifice yourself to later. Uh, actually, isn't it? Don't you go to wherever the really big fucking fish is? Yeah, right. You go to uh, ancient deep sea king koala camp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, AKA real big fish. That was what I always called it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought it was. The... Wasn't that what it was always called? Real big fucking fish. Uh, I don't remember people saying fucking in it most of the time, but maybe well, I, always, I always call it real big fish because of the band too. Yeah. Cat, what is wrong? What's wrong? Oh, okay. Well, I'm out here, cat. Hello. Yeah, no, I call it real big fish because of the band. That band was in an episode of Waterman, the old Flash show. If you remember that show, yeah, yeah. That was like doing some like kind of Family Guy humor, like a little bit pre Family Guy, maybe. I'm not sure. Somewhere in there. Might have been like in that early time when Family Guy was still like unpopular and got canceled later. Mm hmm. That will never die. Because it only came back because of the reruns. The yeah. reruns were popular. Yeah. Because I remembered watching it when it was on TV the first time and I thought it was pretty good back then. Mm hmm. But the longer it went on, obviously. You know? Yeah. It's... That's how everything is. Yeah. Because like, we were talking about The Simpsons last time. I find that most series are like that. Oh, yeah. It makes sense. I mean, like... Because at some point, the, the issue is that if they move away from, like, what made the show kind of good at the beginning, or, like, the characters will start to change. Yeah. You know? Once the characters change a lot, it can be like, what is happening, you know? Yeah. That's why I don't like American shows too much, because... A lot of, like, um, most shows are very serial and very yeah. uh, episodic, mm -hmm. whereas, like, most, you know... So the characters, quote, learn a lesson but never actually do? Yeah. Yeah. There's no actual character development. It's just... There's like, not too many consequences either. Yeah. It's like, well, I hope you sure learned to smoke, to quit, you know, doing meth, little Sally. I did, Dad. You know? Yeah. And that's it. You know? Done. Best episode of Boy Meets World, you know? <laughs> Corey, you know, gets on meth for just a little bit, and then he gets off, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. just a simple thing. It's a simple thing, man. I yeah, you know? Easy. It's just a simple thing. Well, I don't know why everyone makes such a big deal about meth. You can get off it easy. Yeah, he was done with it after one episode. <laughs> like, come on. Come on, guys. Come on. 
I'm gonna be real with you. I don't remember if that's real or you're just messing. I don't know. Am I? Yeah, I don't know either. You'll have to call Mike. Yeah, no, Mike will just text Mike. Is it true there's an episode of Boy Meets World that's about Gore doing that? Fucking, but Mike would just say yeah. <laughs> of course he would, because he probably knows I'm fucking trolling you. Yeah, and I was like, like in my head, I'm like. I know it's fake, but at the same time, <laughs> it feels so real. <laughs> it feels so real. You would instantly just go like, yeah. yeah. Season 5, episode 3. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. You would just make up a number for yeah. it. He'd probably, like, there's, like, not even, like, a season 10 or something like that. He just says, Yeah, I don't know how many seasons. Yeah. yeah, he just says that, yeah. Well, it's six seasons in a movie, so it's season yeah. 7, you know. yeah. Like, yeah, season seven, episode six, duh. Duh. Yeah, Corey does math. <laughs> like, it's legit the title. That's the title. Bro, like... Dude, he's just doing that. Like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. It's just a thing he does. <laughs> I remember there was an episode where Sean is dating some Asian girl, and apparently someone calls her a slur somewhere. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's not in, like, the slur isn't in the show, but that's apparently happens. Yeah. I was like, what? Uh, yeah, you think I would remember that? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, no. But yeah, most most mm -hmm. sitcoms, yeah, they're not really meant to be like, you know, there's growth. Yeah. Or things like that. It's meant to just, you know, air. The, the only growth is usually the characters aging. You yeah. know, that's it. They have to continuously learn lessons. They're very one dimensional. Yeah, that like they immediately forget later. You know, yeah. because it's not, you know, in it's in line with their personality to always do this. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah, they're not allowed to have uh, any growth or anything like that. Not, not, not as long as they're popular. Yeah, because, I mean, most of the time they're supposed to kind of be, like, just a trope of something, yeah. you know? Or whatever. Or they're supposed to always be the funny, the funny one person. and the other one is the straight man, you know? Yeah. So... It's like, uh, what, like Two and a Half Men, where everyone says that it sucks once the kid grows up, you know? Yeah. That kind of thing. Because it doesn't make sense to call it Two and a Half Men, it's just Three Men at that point. Yeah, exactly. It's Three Men and an Ashton Kutcher. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Was his time on that show just one very long episode of Punked? <laughs> where he punked America? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the, the, the last episode of it, it's like, you've been punked, America. <laughs> like, that's it. I wasn't... You thought this was... This is hilarious. I can't believe you guys thought this was an actual season of this show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can't believe. It got canceled last year. <laughs> they said I could do this. <laughs> they gave me fear. <laughs> they gave me total uh, directorial freedom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. So that I could do whatever I wanted. Yeah, they said I could do whatever I want because the show was already canceled. <laughs> so, you yeah. know, that's why I've just been doing whatever I want. That would be pretty fucking funny. Oh, yeah. That, would be, <laughs> that actually would have been hilarious. Yeah. That would actually make that show funny. That really would be good. <laughs> the only funny thing I've ever seen on that show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's been so long since I've seen some of these cards with their Japanese names written out. That Which, I forgot, like, some of them. They have different names. Yeah. yeah. Like, um... Gigantic Fighter. Or how, uh... Colossal Fighter. Yeah. That's its definite name. Uh, the uh, Machina is called Machiner in Japanese. That's why every fucking person thought it was called Machina. Yeah. Because they fucking don't know Latin. <laughs> well, I think, yeah, it was just because it's that's what it is, you know? That's what they would say. Yeah. They're just reading it in English. Yeah, um, Machina. Yeah, and you're just like, holy uh, fuck! Have you, machina, you know? have you never fucking heard of Deus Ex Machina? <laughs> like, they have, they have not. Uh, like you uncultured swine. They do not take uh, any sort of uh, creative writing, film, anything like that. No. They just didn't know. They just didn't know. They don't know about storytelling elements. Again, though, that's why I was interested in what's going on in the Yu-Gi-Oh quote unquote lore is because like. They're actually trying to make an effort to do, like, um, you know, these, like, 
designs that have concept art that they mm -hmm. release with it that has like oh yeah we have a whole lore and it's written on these tokens that you can mm -hmm. play with and then we have like uh, oh in our packaging it all has all of the sets and stuff that go into it because mm -hmm. like back then it was just like whatever you know all, yeah. it just needs to exist yeah it's like you just gotta be like yeah I guess this is what's happening because like, like who cares because yeah. a lot of it was like oh these are just the archetypes that the characters play Yes, and but the cards that weren't arch archetypal. Archetypical. Archetypical? Arch archetypal? Archetypal. Archetypal? I don't know. Yes. As long as we're not saying archa, like I hear people say all the time when they're like, oh, what's your archetype? Have you ever heard that where people say archetype? You know, um... I've heard that I, in, like, videos. Um, how do I put this? I heard it maybe one time in person, but... I feel like I had heard it once, but I was so offended... <laughs> You've blanked it from your mind. I blanked it from my mind until you just brought it up, and now I'm like, I feel offended suddenly. Yeah. And I feel archetype. like... Archetype. That's what people would... I've heard people say the word archetype. I'm like, archetype? I've only... That's like archetype. If, that's like okay. if you're trying to say I'm British... Yeah. And badly British. Yeah. I was like, okay, I don't think that's correct, but sure. Sure, my dude. Sure, man. Sure, go sure. on. Sure, all right. All right. I'll just uh, be over here. Attack you for 8,000 damage this turn. You know? Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, oh, uh, yeah. Damn it, my alien deck almost had you. <laughs> my alien deck. <laughs> sorry. I didn't have someone say. Sorry. I was telling. I was explaining the fifth uh, circle of scrub hell. To, oh, were you? Yeah. Nice. I was saying, like, Eric is a very prominent member of the fifth circle of hell. Yes. Uh, that's the fifth circle. That's what the scrub community is like, uh, from my remembering. In my memory. Honestly, These fish look cool as fuck, though. Yeah, right? These, like, crazy piranhas. Are they, yeah. like, piranhas or something? Yeah, they're based off of piranha skulls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But no... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just remembering that. Yeah. Because that stuff always made me laugh. The 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 mm -hmm. like part of me was like, man, I can't wait and we'll go through all nine circles of hell <laughs> and figure out what's what. Yeah, because it wasn't. I didn't mean it to be scrub hell. I was just describing the scrub arguments as that circle of hell because that's yeah. what they reminded me of. So it wasn't meant to be a full thing. Like yeah. all the circles of hell and some. But we could make some sort of like card game so like yeah. hell this the, could be a card game hell the card game circle of hell the circles not uh, the yeah the nine circles of card game hell yeah you know? and like, it, we could do that i'm sure oh yeah if we really wanted to which would be kind of funny yeah I'd be, yeah but <laughs> no, I'm fucking but bad. that's definitely the one that is like scrub arguments yeah it's like and that's the one that's the most egregious one it's so like, funny it's yeah holy it's too shit. funny so what are we up to? I'm trying to think about what best to go about here because it's nine ten. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, I probably should let this dry before I go do any washes over it. Is my is my immediate yeah. thought because um, right now this looks great. I, oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is. I imagine everyone is gonna be like say something about lesbian energy i feel like you well know? honestly when i drew this I she has her hair doing this thing yeah you know, so honestly as i when i drew this character um mm -hmm. i didn't realize i was drawing this for the lesbians <laughs> until i got to a certain point and i was like bro this is for the lesbians i mean it looks good i mean this is you know a very beautiful woman with a cool like coin thing yeah. going on like this is like a gangster yeah some gangster shit you yeah. know like this is just some some girl boss shit, right? Oh, yeah. First of all, this is somebody who plays golf. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. This is gonna be the next crazy golf character that we run into. <laughs> Ash, I don't know if you're still there. We're what the, the golf anime. Was it Birdie Wings or whatever? Birdie Wing, a Birdie girl, Wing, Birdie Wing, a girl's golf story. The newest episode had basically the My Valentine of golf. <laughs> And like, so she would do the scent trick, but she would like zip down her fucking jumpsuit, <laughs> like so, like, <laughs> like the bunch of her titties are out. It's yeah. really ridiculous. Oh, it was great though. I fucking died. <laughs> Let me find a picture of this girl and fucking send it to you. Just post this or some shit. So fucking stupid. Yeah, and then like some sort of perfume scent 
came out to to like make you go uh, to throw you off balance like the scent threw you off balance yeah Let's see. here's a clip from the show does it have like her do the thing does it show where she's like explaining it but how how did you do this I used my boob powers against you Ooh, my boobly boobles oh no it's just the shot oh but yeah hold on where is it It was fucking hilarious. We're just like, what is this? I love that, what was it? The Ellen was only invested for that one part where it was like, oh, that's how they cheated. <laughs> yeah. And it was like, off of it. Yeah, because it was like, it was, what was it? I remember the ANN reviewer compared it to like Kakagure. Yeah. Yeah, that th- this episode felt cock like this character felt like they were a parody of a Kakagure character. Really, they really did. It was like Vipera or something. Was their name? Yeah, I thought it was like. Yeah, I'm just trying to like find this. Hold on, like, oh, hold on. Actually, it was like... My, t- my tit perfume. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like she was zipped down her jumpsuit. And she's like, and not was, even subtle about it. No, she was not even fucking subtle. It was hilarious. We're just like, are you serious? It was so funny. It was like super obvious. And they're like, bro, you got to figure this out quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really fucking funny. And she's like, what's there to fucking figure out? <laughs> yeah, I just need like a picture of this character. Yeah, this character's fucking wild. <laughs> Character design 101 of what not to do. No, I think it was definitely what to do. It was fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah. You want to make your golf anime intense. <laughs> <laughs> if I can just find this promotional image. You'll instantly recognize who we're talking about. Where is that A N N announcement? Yeah, that's, yeah. The article has like all the characters. One of these uh, cast member ones. Nah, this could be. Yeah, it was so fucking funny. And she does like she has like you can kind of see it in the spectra because it's kind of small, but she has like fangs and she does like a weird tongue thing. Let me yeah. see, like I actually saw a video that was like something like that. It was like a clip of it. We'll find that real quick. I watched the show for the plot. <laughs> it was so funny. Like honestly, like when I saw this character was in this article about like characters. I was just like, what? I have to... How is this character in a golf anime? It was like the reason I needed to... Yeah, where's this? Here's the tongue thing. What a silly anime. Here's the tongue thing. Yeah, they like, like did this like at least a couple times. Uh, they did this close up, but then she would do it also. It was really fucking funny. They were playing golf at like the mega super hyper rich field that was like a Gundam. The, it was no, it was like Nerve straight up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because the landscape was on like tank tread things and like so it would move. It, it would randomize. make a different hole uh, uh, at the underground course. It only had one hole, but it would be randomized with the terrain. 
It was absolutely absurd. This was like Yu-Gi-Oh levels of ridiculous, like shit. Oh yeah, it's like season zero seriously. bullshit. Yeah. This, this was this was like some crazy Yu-Gi-Oh shit. No, no, this is not season zero. Season zero, they would just have stabbed each other with golf clubs. <laughs> yeah, <fair. laughs> like fair. no, this is more of that like in a filler arc. Yeah, like, this is yeah. for a filler arc, like yeah. for sure, oh, or yeah. like some weird shit on um. It would be like um. It'd be like if on Duelist Kingdom, you, it's like there was a golf like the terrain guy. suddenly would change, you know, like yeah. you could like instead of like being at the lake or being at by the sea and you fight Mako Tsunami and yeah. there's like water. It'd be like if we were just walking anywhere and then Mako Tsunami showed up and he was like, "All right, now change it to the beach." <laughs> like the land moved around. Not the, the fuck. It was so crazy. Yeah, they were just underground golfing for rich people. It was so crazy. It was... We just kept joking that that was like Elon Musk's underground golf course. Oh, yeah. What, Kitty? What? Yeah, no, this, this show is hype as fuck. This show is wild. This show is crazy. This show is legit insane. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, it was just straight up just the My Valentine of golf. Mm hmm. Let me use this perfume trick real quick. God, it's such a dumb fucking show, but I love it. Yeah, it's hilarious. It's like the most anime, anime thing I've seen in a while. I love when Ellen's like, they know this is just golf, right? And I'm like, no, it is golf. <laughs> It is golf. I do love that review, the A and review. This isn't your dad's golf kid. Yeah, this is real fucking golf. This is real golf. This is some real golf. Oh, remind me before I go to bed. Um, mm -hmm. Or well, two things. Um, one is we should probably watch Dawn Brothers since we're a bit behind. That's true. Oh, I should download it then. Uh, second, I need to Airbnb. Uh, somebody from Airbnb. Is opting to let us like at no extra charge use extra space, so I need to say yeah, that's totally fine. Sure. So <laughs> need to message them. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we're like two behind on Don Brothers. Yeah, I got spoiled on that part from Don Brothers too, and I'm not very happy about that spoiler because it's hype as fuck. Mm -hmm. I mean, I already saw the mech, so that's like from the. Because that's yeah. from the magazine, but like. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but this screenshot is fucking amazing. Someone also said um, when, there was a scene that gave them uh, Michi flatsbacks from. Oh, uh, really? From uh, Gaim? From Gaim? Yeah. Nice. That's that's great. Yeah, so like, wait a second, I've heard this line before. And then they're like, posted it next to uh, Michi saying the same thing. And they're like, that's funny. Oh, shit. We got a shit boy. All right, we'll probably drop then after you finish all of this uh, background color. Yeah. Because if we're going to watch two episodes. Yeah, it's not, man, it's not too long on this one. To be honest with you, what's funny about this is that I'm going to finish this flat background. And I'm like, fuck, do I even add anything? Right? It just, just looks cool. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Just yeah, I think maybe you just want to focus on the character. Yeah, because that's like I'll, I'll probably like send it on over to some art people and be like, "Hey man, do, should I just leave it as is?" Yeah, right. Because if that's the case, I'll probably actually re go over this to flatten Which it out. Just freezing up. Hold on, it might be because I just started downloading this. Hold on. Uh, okay, I'm kind of dropping a couple frames. Maybe I should, uh, should wait until after stream to start joining. Yeah, that's all right. I'm almost done. But long, long story short, yeah, I would I would like to get some feedback on this one before I go any further. Because that's kind of funny. I was like, oh, this will take like four or five streams. And then like, oh, yeah, we get to this part of it in the first stream. And we're like, fuck, do I even add anymore? I just pause this. There it goes. Yeah,
these, this color. This might be it. We might be running a trip to the store before we finish this background. Yeah, right. Uh, let's see. This is a turquoise blue. That's mint green. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, new. Yeah, I definitely don't know. Who are you? What are you? Show me your moves. Oh, that's a bit too green. Mm, I got an aqua over here. Damn, you got some Candyman over there? Bro, you know, they're coming straight from Bounty Land. <laughs> I don't know where Bounty Land is, but man, it sounds like it's fucking lit. <laughs> Bro, Bounty Land is right next to Sniper Island. <laughs> <laughs> In your heart. Uh, don't you know? Uh, did yeah. I ever show you that clip where, like, uh, someone took a scene from GoGo13 and put the English dub, like, Sniper Island song over it? <laughs> no. <laughs> No. Yeah. Holy shit. That's so good. Yeah. Oh no. That's so fucking funny. Holy shit. Yeah, it's like a scene where he's like on a boat and he's like doing something. It's really fucking funny. I'm from Sniper. Is that close enough? Yeah. Oh, this is the same one. Oh, okay. I'm just kind of like getting as much out of it as you can. Yeah. It's It sucks because um, the paper that this is on is just not really good for markers. Gotcha. So, and I kind of have one of the colors, like this is close to this. So I'll probably just, cause that's the color. Uh, no, that's a bit too green. Uh, yeah. We'll just go to the store and grab one. Yeah. Just, just, just face it. Yeah, I know, I gotta go to the store. Just deal. I'll go to the store. Just deal. It happens. Did the best you could. Happens to most guys. Not this, you. And no, this time you are one of the most guys. Oh no. Yep. Oh no. Yep. Oh, this, this is, is how it goes. It's terrible. Premature marker dry up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Fucking <laughs> okay, that sounds like an ad. That's a good ad though. Like you do. Mm -hmm. um, it's your marker prematurely drying. Right. Hi there. Is it bringing it back in? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Right now. No. Maybe she's out of the kitchen. Ladina? No, no. Her uh, niece is back in our hometown. Mm -hmm. That's her niece's name, I think. Really? That's all yeah. I, I did not know that. It's yeah. Did the, parent, did the people who named their child that understand what they have just done? Probably not. I think this is a uh, celery soup man's kid. Honestly, that celery makes a lot soup. of sense. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, this is sick. Yeah, this just looks cool. Yeah, you're gonna need that marker and then fill in the top. Yeah, because that's pretty much all we can do. I'm gonna send, take a snap a pic of this and then send it over to people. Be like, hey, do I need to like do anything else, or should I just leave this as is after I finish the background? Yeah, because um, I'm just gonna send this over to Jamie. Warning, trigger warning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Um. I'm gonna see if I can find her real quick. stuff up what happened she's like why, why do we have to watch when i have to get to the morning because <laughs> we changed the watching on wednesday after the stream instead yeah. of thursday i think maybe we could just watch tomorrow yeah that's true i don't think we were doing anything right oh shit what we got into yomacon we got into yomacon yeah yo Chat, you heard it first here. Breaking news. Uh, I'm still waiting to... Uh, 
for the revised contract and I'll follow up in the morning with a link to your contract for the information regarding sir. All right, cool. Yo, Yomacon, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. What's, let me, let me go with Yomacon. It's the same weekend as NecoCon, but I need to remember which one is which. Uh, Normal, let's see, in 2017, it says they had 22,000 people. Oh, nice. That's a pretty good number. Yeah, it is, yeah. Thank you. Ash says congrats. Appreciate it. Well, do we want, so are we going to watch tomorrow then, I guess? Yeah, we can watch tomorrow. Okay, yeah, because the only thing going down on Thursday night is like Legacy, and uh, I'd rather watch Dawn Brothers. Yeah. All right, it's being rescheduled. We're going to watch tomorrow. Continue being God. Never quit being God, Ellen. Until you have to go to bed. Nah, even then, don't quit. Don't go to bed. <laughs> Stay up with your power fantasies all night. Okay, yeah. Hopefully. So, what did I didn't hear the whole email? Just they're gonna send you the final thing tomorrow. Yeah, it's the same weekend as. Um... Which one? Neko? NecoCon, which is a small show. Um, I don't remember if I bought anything for that yet, other than the table. NecoCon. Because I remember looking at the flight, and there was... No, I haven't definitely not bought a flight, because I was looking at that, and it looked pretty rough to get in into. In Hampton, Virginia. Yeah, because you have to buy a, f a ticket to get into Richmond, Virginia. And then drive. And then drive. And that's why I was like, oh, that's going to be rough. But, okay, that actually makes my life a lot easier, because it just goes straight to Detroit. Yeah. Panic this is in, in Detroit, Detroit, so we might be dead, but... Panic in Detroit! I remember, um... It's, uh, RoboCop, right? Yes. It's set in Detroit, but, but it was it's... filmed in Dallas? Yes. Yeah. Because this was when Detroit was the most dangerous city in the entire world. Yes. I love the... In, um... Oh, what is that movie called? Uh, Kentucky Fried Movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the one that is like the Bruce Lee movie, yeah. in that short, there's a part where the guy's like, send him to Detroit. And he's like, no! Oh, anywhere but Detroit! <laughs> I think that. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty funny. So, if Chicago doesn't kill us, Detroit will get us. It's true. So... Well, it was nice knowing Elcha. As long as we dress incredibly poor, very poor, and then we can change at the venue. Yeah. yeah. You know, we'll be like the Forgers, <laughs> you know. <laughs> just bring three outfits just in case. Ash, you caught up on Spy Family? Elegance! I might, just, might have just ruined the joke there. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Out of context, it doesn't make much sense. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, I'd way rather go to Yomacon. Yeah, totally understandable. I heard this one's pretty hype. I've heard so too. So. And it's easier to get You're up to date? To. Okay, nice. All right then, yeah. I've heard it's easier to get to as well. That makes sense too. I mean, it's, you yeah. know. It's in Detroit. It's probably pretty easy to get in. Yeah, just in terms of like uh, flights and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but damn. This but yeah, no, we were. Oh, sorry to cut you off. No, you're good. I was, I was just... going to say, we were all laughing so hard and so loud at the at spy family like we couldn't hear it or anything and we have a pretty loud speaker we were just drowning it out in laughter so that was such a hype episode oh man all right but what were you saying oh it's it's tough this one actually like looks good as is uh you could probably ship it like this it does look pretty cool in black and white to be honest yeah it's but i don't think you're going to be doing that it's tough. Um, I'll, I'm going to ship it on over to people, yeah. ask them their opinion. Because what I can also do technically as well is if I can keep this like this, the original like this, mm -hmm. put it into Photoshop and yeah. then do the uh, tones and such, um, we can go from there. But yeah, I do want to... Oh, that way you have a backup of the black and white version just in case? Yeah. Policies. I need to check your policies. Exhibit hall policy. What is there? Can I get a refund for this one? Did you already pay them? Yeah, you had to pay pretty oh. quickly. But, um, oh, gotcha. But, um, I'll, I'll, you know, later. Yeah. At most, you'll get half back. That's usually how they do it. Yeah, for Kineticon, what they said is they just roll us over. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. As I said, said, hey, something came up, so I can't come anymore. 
Um, and they said, uh, we can either refund you a quarter or you can just roll over. Quarter, okay. I would way rather take a roll over than a quarter back on the money. Yeah, exactly. What we, what con was that we got into instead? DreamCon. That's right, yes. I'd much rather go to DreamCon. I heard the last one wasn't that bad. Nah, I heard the same thing too. I heard it was much better than the just utter disaster that the first one was. Yeah. The like object cat- catastrophic failure is what everyone was saying, you know? Yeah. And plus, this one's that one's local, so it's not as high. Yeah. As no, it's over at the esports center, right? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, I still love that that one guy. It just says personality, elegance. Yes. <laughs> like that's so good. It's like that's all you need for a personality, just to be elegant. Is that Jamie? Yeah, and she had the same thought as well as to just do this digitally. Um, after finishing that um, and mess around with it because it does look like it wants to be colored but it also looks really good as is. Yeah, right. Which is kind of where you want to be with a piece in general Mm -hmm. where you can just be like, here's a whip and you're like, that's a whip? Yeah. (laughs) I mean, if you're going to mess around with it, are you going to paint on it? Because you were trying to practice your painting? Um, I'm going to do everything digitally first to like do like... Hey, this is like some color palettes that I would want to do. Gotcha. Um, and then if 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 it looks like, oh, this looks good, mm-hmm. then we can go try traditionally again. Um, but, you know, we'll just kind of play it by ear for a little bit. I do, okay. I do need to go buy a fucking turquoise blue. Yeah. I mean, it's on you, so I was just wondering. I just know you had wanted to practice more stuff. Yeah, no, I understand. And the other ones are like that, where they're, like, all very traditional looking. Yeah, that's what I want to do, to be honest. But, again, I just want to see where this goes, um, Mm. and to do so digitally uh, makes more sense to you. Yeah, yeah, no, I feel you. Okay, so I've got three things to do. Uh, One is scan this in at some point. Well, Uh, you got to finish the background. Right, okay, let me rephrase that. So, three things i got to do. i got to go... Get another marker. That's uh, step one. Step two, I need to uh, contact Airbnb. And then uh, step three, uh, contact Necrocon. Gotcha. Because it is bad form to just be like, hey, man, I didn't get in. Uh, I got in someplace else. And then, you know, you don't tell them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always officially cancel. That way they can have the people on the wait list. Get back in. Spot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's way better want to want the wait list people to know... As soon as possible. Exactly. Because exactly. it's fine to just like show up. You know, if you're if you're you know whatever, you can show up if it's local. Yeah. But if someone messages you a week before and you didn't have any hotel plans or anything like that, yeah, no. it's not a good feeling. Yeah, that's just that's just rude. Definitely. So you're, we'll go do you're that. Rude to the con, you're being rude to the other artists. Yeah, and that's just not a place you want. Bad to form. Bad form, like you said. So, uh, we're going to call it here for this. I just noticed, did you just use Zoro's earrings? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> thousand percent. Yeah, right? Those are like his earrings, right? Yeah, a thousand yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I totally saw that. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, because I saw uh, the, the model was using had earrings like that, and I just turned them into this. Nice. Because I was like, oh, it's fish-themed, so yeah. pirates. Pirates. And, you know, the Motley Gold coin. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. I just was like, I just noticed, and I'm like, wait, that's just Zoro's earrings. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I guess then we're gonna bail. Um, Some high energy lesbian action. Crazy, crazy lesbian energy, obviously, which is what we need to get our back to our roots. Back to our now, roots. The lesbians Legends. were making us so much money oh, back yeah. then. We gotta get them back. We yeah. need all the lesbian money we can that we can get. Just tons of it. Just have them wheelbarrow it over to us. You know. That's it. We're doing it for them. Yeah. Well, we're doing it for their money. But, you know, in a way, it helps them. I, I'd like to think so, at least. But, uh, so, we're going to go. Ash, have a great night. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, you should definitely watch that golf anime. It's really fucking funny. The story about getting a ton of lesbian customers, it just, like, seemed to happen. It was just, like, a natural thing. Like Yeah, I... I it was like a lot of the JoJo art. I feel like I don't know. Yeah. There was a thing where there was just like a lot of lesbians like JoJo, and then like I don't know, it was something else. But like so many times they'd be like looking at like the original stuff sometimes, and they're just like you know want the one with the hot girl on it, you know. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I remember, and they would yeah. say like things like they would actually say like my, the, my oh bless my lesbian little heart. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. I don't know what it was. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was it was a wild time. Yeah, it was hilarious. Like yeah, it's just kind of a thing that happens. Like I don't know what it was. Yeah, I think it's just because you were drawing like I mean, there's just a lot of like hot girls drawn very correctly. You know? Yeah, like, that was the one thing too. Something like that. You there know? was a joke that I was the only one of the people who was doing anatomically correct. I tits. remember. Yeah, there was this one lady who was just looked at your stuff when you were away from it. She's like, "Oh my god, I can't believe it! Someone who draws realistic tits." Yeah, she was like, I was down there in the dealer room. The pictures, of the, they're just two circles stuck on their chest. <laughs> it was so funny. And that was like someone's mom yeah, who said yeah. that. So that was really fucking funny. <laughs> she was like, I can't believe it. <laughs> that cracked me the fuck up. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, they were with some kid. I don't know. It's funny. It's fuck. Yeah, it was really good. It was at Monster, actually. Yeah, yeah. Was that a Monster? It was. was. Okay, I couldn't remember where that was from. Because they were downstairs in the dealer room and then they came back up. Gotcha. Okay, I couldn't remember where it's it was. It's like, from. I was in the dealer room and I just saw fucking circles. Yeah, yeah I remember the one, but I couldn't remember the show. I thought it was at, like, Ikika or something. But I don't know. I'm sure it was at a show. Yeah, I was at a show. We had just so many. Yeah, there's too many. But yeah, that was hilarious. She's just like, I can't believe it. <laughs> I like she's like, there were just two circles <laughs> glued on the front. That's mm -hmm. what they looked like. <laughs> also, uh, by the way, Jamie did message back already. Said the exact same thing we did, but then she also said, and I quote, "The fish are scary." <laughs> but in a good way. Nice. <laughs> Which is really funny because I was like, yeah, you know, I was real hesitant to send this. Don't remind me. <laughs> yeah, right. Terrified of fish. Yeah. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, they're pretty unnatural looking. It, it also, it was just... The primal fish energy. That and also, like, fish are very interesting just because of the fact, uh, like, fish and insects are very... Um, you know, they, the way they evolved is very different yeah. from how we've evolved. And yeah. It's very uh, otherworldly, especially when you get really deep into the water. And That's like true. That. Yeah, really weird deep water fish I can understand. But like just a salmon or whatever. Delicious. Yeah, right? Like, I'm just going to eat this. So. Oh, well. But that's it for us. Uh, yeah. We'll catch you all on Saturday. Um, we'll let you know what we're doing because... I don't know what I'm doing on this one just yet. We've kind of gotten to a standstill, but I'll figure it out um, throughout the week. And yeah, if we're not working on this, I guess you'll pencil up some fan art. Or yeah, or I'll something. definitely. I've got some fan art in the works. Uh, May, I wanted to dedicate to doing Street Fighter characters oh, because that, June yeah. is when the game comes out. That's right. Um, but yeah, I do need to try to finish this before May the 12th, though. That's when we do our print run. Yeah, because we're going <laughs> to print very soon because ASEN is the third weekend of this month. And then BBG, BGG. Yeah, and we have BGG, which is the board gaming show. So yeah. we want to present more of our original stuff. Yeah, so that way people that way will, publishers uh, will look at it and they're like, oh, wow, this. You know, I'm making a lesbian energy card game. Yeah, yeah. You know? There actually is a tabletop RPG that's just called Thirsty Sword, Sword Lesbians. Yeah, Thirsty Sword Lesbians, yeah. Yeah, it's just called Thirsty Sword Lesbians. Yeah. Which we did not get to play. Which is a goddamn tragedy. When it was advertised in the, um... That was Delta HCon. Yeah. Yeah, it was at Delta HCon, and it was in the, um... The what? The planner? Whatever the book is. The guide or whatever for the show, you know, like yeah. all the stuff you could do. It was it was in the planned event for like games, and so me and Sabrina went to the game room expecting to play it because you can't just read something that says thirsty, thirsty sword, sword lesbians, lesbians, yeah, and not want to go play it. And it turned out the person who was GMing it was like across town at some pride event yeah. instead of being there, and they didn't tell anyone, and no, like no one knew. You know, because it, it was hilarious because we were showing it to the person running the game room. We're just like, we're looking for this. And they're like, read it. They're like, Thirsty Sword Lesbian. What? What, what is this? Yeah, That's yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. That, like, everyone is like, wait, what? I want to play this. <laughs> yeah, it's like a tabletop game. So, which obviously, uh, I'm just going to be an Utena character. That's it. So. But yeah, we're going to head to bed. Well, I guess not to bed, but we're going to yeah. do something. And then head to bed shortly after. Yes. So, 
Have a great night, everyone. I'll catch y'all later. This will be up on YouTube, uh, you know, at some point in the future. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, good night, Ash. So, uh, watch Funky Space Wizard Battle and stay safe.